Hey, all right, Adventure fans. So, Russell, I'm back. I just wanted to give you a quick update on what's been going on with me. Now, in the wintertime, I'm always out there kind of tromping and stomping in the woods and definitely playing in the snow, uh, backcountry skiing, snowboarding, things like that. So, because of the foot thing, we're not gonna say who jumped off a waterfall and broke it, but I am standing up and I am uh, getting ready to start getting back out there. Not quite ready to put a lot of pressure on it, but I am ready enough to start getting out there and doing some things. I have been working on the donkey here and we got some cool things to show you, some installs. I got uh, some other neat things I wanna shoot. But first, I get asked this question a lot and it is, hey Russ, do you carry when you're out there? And my question, my answer is, there's a bear shit in the woods. So, now, Having a firearm out there in public land, first of all, you can't do it in a national park. <laughs> and you shouldn't be um, openly carrying anyway, just because it paints a big ass bullseye on your chest saying, shoot this good guy first. So go out and get your seal weapons permit and look like a normal dude. Because this look is extremely aggressive and it doesn't say friendly camper or hiker when you run up against people. And actually the community is kind of against it. So I just want you all to know that yes, this guy does carry, but I don't kind of show it. Disadvantage to this is one, uh, when I'm wearing a backpack and I have my uh, hip straps on, it gets in the way, all right? And so being able to quickly draw out doesn't, doesn't go there. So again, it's for self-protection for that just in case the world goes to shit uh, kind of thing. I don't ever expect to use it. I have never had to draw it. So one of the cool things that I just picked up from Holst King holsters. Now, what's really nice about this, it's really an adventure rig that you can wear and it's super easy to put on. You can wear it with a pack, you do it while you're out climbing, doing all kinds of your outdoor enthusiast stuff. Let me show you how it works. So here's the holster right here itself. You put it on simply by throwing it around your back, right? Then loop it in under your arm. Now you can adjust this thing and just clip it. You can adjust this thing high, low, depending on what you want. And then now you take your sidearm. Now this is a full size H and K and I now have it right here. So it's out of my way. Now, if it's a winter time, I can very easily Put, throw on a jacket. All right, I still have access to it, but I could also safely conceal it. It also works very well with a pack. So you got your favorite pack. You throw that bad boy on, and again, I can safely access my weapon in the event of all hell breaks loose, right? So this is the friendly, hey, how you doing, hiker? Doing all right. Keep on, keep it on. The friendly look. And it also gives you a little peace of mind. It's not in the way. It's not gonna interrupt my pack. Now, often, and if you notice, I had to, depending on the weight of your pack, had to put my pack straps right here out of the way because one, <laughs> They rub on my firearm when it's in the uh, position down below. So let me show you here. Now, often, well, mm -hmm. all right. Turn this back out. And look at there. All right. Now, I don't have to worry about my sidearm being entangled in my hip straps. And now my hip straps are doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing, keeping that pack up off my shoulders, right? And I can, again, still access my firearm. So, hike responsibly, travel lightly, and I'll see you out there on the trails. It's Russell from Dawn to Dusk. And keep look, keep a lookout, because I got a lot more stuff coming out for you. Remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell because you never know.
Got stuff coming in the woods for you. Promise. Thanks for following.